Howdy, my wide-eyed little group of over-enthused and underappreciated tinker nerds. This is the comment show for my homemade motion-activated trash can video. If you haven't seen it, you can watch it here, and you may notice that it's a slight departure from my normal videos, but you may not even notice. Where's the good old intro? I miss the old intro. Why the old intro? Okay, so you noticed. As I tried to explain in this video and on my Tinkernut Remix channel, this is a new series called Tinkernut Labs. And the purpose of it is to showcase a lot of the hands-on projects that I'm going to be doing. I plan to do at least one Tinkernut Labs project for each regular Tinkernut tutorial that I'll show you in the future. Next week, I will be showing you one more ultrasonic Tinkernut Labs project. But after that, the schedule should consistently be as follows. I'll be doing one Tinkernut tutorial that explains a tech concept, and then I'll be doing a Tinkernut Labs project showcasing that tech concept in use, and then I will do a comment show that covers the comments for both of those videos. Hopefully that's not too confusing and you guys actually find it better that I'm doing both styles of videos instead of just one or the other. More hacking videos, please. If you look up the real definition of hacking, then that's exactly what we're doing. But if by hacking you mean trying to break into someone's account or other malicious activity, then I really don't do that anymore, unless there's something really interesting or intriguing that can be learned from it. So I can't say for sure that I'm not going to do any more videos like that, but we'll just have to see what the future holds. And unlike the next commenter, I can't see into the future. This comment will be in the comment show. Nope. No, it won't. <laughs> what now? When you have the text following the components, is this tracking or manual keyframing? I used motion tracking, and here's a look into how I did that. Basically, I load a clip into After Effects and trim it to the part that I want tracked. Then I use this amazingly useful Mocha Import Plus plugin to import it into Mocha and start tracking it. Then I just copy the keyframes to the clipboard, hop back over into After Effects, and create a new null object to paste them into. Then I disable the anchor point keyframes, add some text, and pick whip it to the null object. Done. Hopefully that helps explain it. Alright, stay tuned next week for one more Tinkernut Labs video about ultrasonic technologies. And then the next week, I will do another Tinkernut tutorial about cloud computing and how to make a NAS. And if you got any value out of this video and would like to give some value back, please consider sending some bitcoins my way or donating to my Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash tinkernut. All right, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com, where technology and creativity collide.